this chip here does not have bit rot because it is a double e prom it has no window to allow light that is ultraviolet light to come in and erase the contents the previous EEPROM you heard a song sample playing out of was subject to bit rot the chips were all sitting by the window for quite a period of time and even though most UV light was blocked by the glass still enough got through that you could hear plenty of distortion in the other sample I'll play you some more bit rotted examples of EEPROMs that have been sitting in the sun although they were of course uh, the sunlight was coming through a window the following sounds kinda like you're listening to a record the static sound you'll hear is actually from bit rot nope. in the following sample you won't hear the effects of bit rot but you'll hear a good example of the sound of aliasing due to a low sample rate and an inadequate low pass filter. It's a loop sample. Occupying only 64 kilobytes. The following is another good example of bit rot. Notice the static. This one also exhibits bit rot. I'm not sure what was on the C-PROM, but if I had an audio sample on it originally, it has fallen so far out of the E-PROMs I put on here, the worst of the victims to bit rot. This one was also in close proximity to it, and also received lots of exposure. I only recognize a sample of the, or a small portion of the sample that I put on this chip, and I know that it was very much a victim to bit rot. Listen. That little squawking part right then you just heard was the, some of the original sample that survived. Bit rot is a fascinating phenomenon, to say the least. Most of this one survived, but you'll still hear some of the effects of bit rot.
hope you enjoyed my little video showing the effects of bit rot on audio samples stored on EEPROM. Of course, PCM audio samples at rather low sampling rates, only occupying 64 kilobytes apiece. Some of the samples come from the old Bionicle game my friend Stefan played. Uh, one of the samples that showed aliasing was actually from a band that my uh, uncle was in years ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video.